All right. Well, Target is removing from its stores some of their Pride merchandise after backlash on social media that had tuck friendly bathing suits and products that offered light binding. So what? what we're talking about is binding up your boobies. You like this gesture like it you would otherwise not know. Yeah. And uh, tucking in your balls. I don't know how to say that nicely. <laughs> Remember that? Your testicles. Yes. Tuck in your testicles <laughs> Tuck and in your testicles. bind your breasts. Like Target. <laughs> so someone, just to be clear, someone at Target was like, okay, you know, sales or what they are, whatever. We're having a board meeting. We're deciding what we want to do in the next quarter to boost sales. Let's create a pride section where we we sell breast binding garments for little girls so they can't develop properly, therefore mutilating their bodies. Who's in favor of this? And well, the rest of the board decides to do that? There are partnerships that Target has been working on, and I'm going to show you that. Um, and they say that these body manipulation gear were not marketed to children. They only came in adult sizes, but they were for young teens. Um, and there is still plenty of pride gear that beyond this like bond body bond body bondage gear that was sold uh, for Pride Month. And of course, June is coming. And we have seen in recent years that corporate America sort of ratchets up their uh, virtue signaling around June Pride Month. And, you know, it, that has come to mean something completely different than it did maybe even 10, 15 years ago when gay people did not have the right to marriage or other, um, you know, sort of civil liberties. Gay, gay rights is pretty much a done deal. Uh, now pride month is usually trans rights activist month. It's not just about being gay any longer. And a lot of this stuff is about being queer. And, um, some of the, the sweatshirts had even said like, and transphobia, not trans people, right? It's, it's you, it's not us, that kind of thing. I'm going to show it to you. Um, now let's go over this body binding stuff first, because these are the latest terms in fashion. It's like Spanx for gender dysphoria. Um, first though, this is one of the videos that Libs of TikTok posted of a woman going through the pride merchandise in the kids section. Now notice she doesn't say their children's sizes, the binding stuff. So that's an important distinction. I don't know if that's better. You decide, watch. We're at Target right now and there's a lot of controversy going on about all of the pride stuff that's coming out with kids clothes and things like that. So we're gonna go to the kids section and we're actually going to see if they're putting weird, creepy, uncomfy stuff on children's clothing. Okay, this is the child section. This is literally the kids section. I'm next to a literal onesie that says whatever the hell that means. We have glad you came out and I'm so happy that you're queer in the kids section. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, but pride and toddler don't belong in the same sentence. So I found an extra small swimsuit in the child section. It says light binding effect on it. And then the bottoms in the kids section, keep in mind, say tuck friendly construction. They're giving it to your kids. If that doesn't give you a reason to boycott Target, I don't know what does, but this shit's getting out of hand. They're targeting children, whether you like it or not, and it's time that people actually do something about it. Because if they don't, then guess what? That shit won't just be in Target, it'll be in every store, ever. So it is in the kids section. Well, yes, but they were a small size. They were, I mean, they're for teens mostly, like developing boobs, the light binding. What, what are we, we're splitting hairs over. It was in a kids section. I mean, these are... It's well, in, so this distinction, though, is how they're labeling these videos as misinformation because they're saying they're not for kids. They're for young adults and they're not even kids sizes because, you know, kids sizes end at 12, usually 12 to 14. Um, and so what they're saying is that this these are these are small sizes for teens. It's different. So TikTok is taking these videos down because Target is labeling them as misinformation? Well, I, I don't know about that. Um, her video seems to be still up, but like the Associated Press and the media is saying that this is disinformation because they're not children's clothes. They're sized 
for young adults. Now, I, I don't think that's any better, right? Um, especially when you consider that by light binding, what they mean is bri- binding the breasts of a young woman, specifically developing breasts, um, so that if that young woman wants to present as a man, they can tie up their chest really tightly to reduce the appearance of breasts. Even the groups that advocate for this, like mermaids in the UK, they know it's dangerous. And they say that if you're going to do this, you need to take breaks and not wear them for longer than eight hours and not wear them every day. So how do you choose which days you let your girls out and which days you tie them up? I'm just curious if you're advocating for girls to do this to themselves, but not every day. One of the few studies that's been done on breast binding was not a clinical study. It was a questionnaire type study shows that 97% of young people that used breast binders had negative health outcomes. 97%. So 3% is like, yeah, that's great. But, you know, if you take your body and you bind it up in a way that it's trying to grow against, that's obviously going to hurt you. Um, Breast binders have been shown to result in mild to severe adverse health effects, including back pain, shoulder pain, chest pain, shortness of breath, bruised and fractured ribs, and dermatological problems. Um, So Target is selling products that have light binding effects. Now, maybe light means it doesn't happen quite so often, uh, but that raises the question, is this cool? Is this a, is that a gateway drug that you can bind a little and then you start binding more? How, how much longer until Target has the full on breast binders that are the kind that can hurt you now by well, tu- I wanna, uh, Yeah, go ahead. I, I just want to cover the tucking part. Like as a guy, like, oh, we're going to get to the tucking part. Pay- okay. I'll let you do. Are we still on YouTube? First. It looks like, did YouTube kick us off? Cause our stream just stopped. Oh shit. Yeah. They, it looks like they did. Hang on, let me uh, let me get on that. So YouTube banned us because of Tuck because of Target. Because of Target. I don't know. Do we have any? Um... I don't know. We're on Rumble, so let's just keep yeah. going and yeah. find out YouTube what. Yeah, Yeah, keep keep going. Okay, we don't have any notices or anything, right? Uh, that's what I'm looking no, at. Real no quick. notice. Would we get a notice about? Something like that? I mean, yes, but go ahead. Okay. Um, Let's talk about tucking, and you guys can figure that stuff out. Um, Because I I want to ask some questions about tucking of the penis and testicles. Uh, Like a job strap built into a one-piece bathing suit, that's what they mean by tucking, uh, bathing suits that tuck. Just like this new Adidas swim ad that they used a biological male to model, um, this is what they mean by tucking Um, I don't know if that's really healthy for male testicles. There haven't really been studies about this kind of gear or garment, Um, but studies do show that wearing a jock strap can cause a hernia. So I don't know. Do you think we can compare tucking a bathing suit to a jock strap, boys? Tucking? uh, Like this doesn't look as... No, not at all. Because let me say like a jock strap, you, you keep your... Okay, we're not on YouTube. You can keep your penis forward and up. Tucking, you're putting it down and in, and if you get an erection, that's gonna freaking hurt because it's like going the opposite way. Whereas a jock strap, it's still up; it's just got a protection. You know what I mean? Where yeah, tucking is like no. you're tucking it in underneath. Yeah, so you're going the opposite direction, like a yeah. cup, like you'd wear in football, you know, or we would wear exactly. all the time so in you, football. You, you, you it's put a it cup; it's just a protective stu- up towards your stomach. I uh, yeah, you do whatever yes, you want a, with it. Jock. Yeah, it's just like a but cup. It's tucking, like a, you're putting it down and back so that you don't even see it yeah okay but if you look at the adidas ad it doesn't look like anything's really all that tucked so maybe that's not doing it right i don't know i don't know i don't Um, answer that well blaze reporter alex stein decided to try these uh the tucking and binding bathing suit on and um here is his video it is very tongue-in-cheek he's obviously poking fun uh but you know an Given that he's got the male parts, we can at least see how that works in practice. Take a look. This is not, you guys see this? It's tuck friendly. You see? Entry. Yeah, I saw it on TikTok. 
folks, we're at Target checking out their Tuck Friendly Pride Collection. That's right, guys. Extra crotch coverage, Tuck Friendly Construction. Thank you, Target. No, it I is. I think this is a tucky one. Yeah, it is. Look. Tuck, oh. Tuck Friendly Construction. Okay. Well, let's see how Tuck Friendly it is. Okay, well, you can. Wow, it's so Tuck Friendly. It's nice to be. Let's go in. Yeah, see, okay, let's just talk over it because he just kind of says silly things. Yeah. Um, David never texts me that again about tucking. Uh, so he's not that tucked. Like they're just in, they're just out there, right? Well, it, you've it, still got some stuff that's up. Yeah, there's still, you've got your testicles there. You know, you can only do so much, but it's like, it's meant to. I just to, don't think he's tucking though. I, I, that you does think not he's look not like doing he's it right? No, he's not because I just looked at several different pictures that I won't share with you on what it is and it is going backwards that obviously is not going backwards okay oh so that's a user error um but i mean i live in europe i see lots of men in speedos on the beach and they're not tucked in a speedo they just let it is this gesture helping you they just let it hang there yeah right? yes and that's not tucking please stop People so, are saying, please stop. Okay. The, I mean, look, look. Let's stop talking about the tucking piece of this. All right. Is that the most important part of this? Or is the fact that... that tar- You're bored of this? No, well, I'm I not mean, bored of it. I mean, what do I care if a man it. wants to take a Speedo and like extend it up to an asymmetrical bathing suit? I don't, right? But don't tell me that, you know, bathing suits can be unisex because I have very specific needs based on my biological body for a bathing suit, like boob support. So Target may not be marketing these to young children, but they do have a whole collection of pride gear. Now, this bathing suit that they do market to young children, it says here that it is that I know that's small on the bottom. What it says that I've highlighted is thoughtfully fit on multiple body types and gender expressions. And then below that, it says they partnered to make this with Humankind Swim. Well, this is the company that they say they partnered with uh, to make these gender neutral children's swimwear. And Humankind Swim does make swimsuit binders for children, although just not in the smallest sizes. Take a look at the kids' swim top. And here I have circled that they do offer lightweight compression or binding for the young, for the kid swim top. Um, And in fact, many of the testimonials on this site are from women who have had breast removal surgery. Here is the full on compression swim top that they offer. Um, you know, it's easy for that person because I'm pretty sure they were never going to grow boobs. Um, so I don't know how much of a marketing tool that is, but again, it says there it acts as a breast binder. So target is using this company that they're partnering with to market swimwear to children. So even if they didn't have that line on their floor, they still are working with a company that does sell breast binding for children. Well, I, you know, and this, I don't know, all these people in the chat are saying they are marketing to children. I mean, they're in the kids section with all of this pride stuff in the kids section. And I see people online, like I see people like, we're glad it's now, like there are people that are supportive of it, like we're glad it's now in the kids section. So there are people who are supportive of this are acknowledging that it's in the kids section. They are marketing it to kids. This is in, well, what else could it be? And Southern states, some of the Southern states got so much backlash that they're hiding these sections in the back. If it was adult sections, they wouldn't have to hide it. They, they, people yeah. would not be in in our, up in arms if it wasn't in the kids section. Yeah. Um. Yes, I think that the way that they're spinning this, though, is that it wasn't in the like, you know, toddler through 12 size that it was it it starts at. Yes, they're kids at uh, preteens. But what they're saying is we're not we're not doing it for the like grade school age. I don't think that's any better. I'm not making that distinction. They are. And we're just trying to understand what their distinction is because they think it's better. Um, They also partnered with a brand called AB Pralin, which has been associated with Satanism. They have products on their site um, saying that Satan respects pronouns. Um, So they pulled their products uh, that were in partnership with them as well. Now, what they're saying is that they've done this because they've experienced threats impacting our team members' sense of safety and well-being at work. 
Um, given these volatile circumstances, they say we're removing items that have been at the center of the most significant confrontational behavior. Because you can imagine that the women that we just showed you on TikTok, people like her coming up to people at Target and being like, what is this? This is not acceptable in public society. This is prurient. And a Target employee just can't answer for it because it's not them making those decisions. Uh, so Target will pull these and, you know, I'm sure we will try to see them weave it back into their product line next year. Um, they have appropriated gay rights, again, not as a civil rights movement, but as a money making movement. And they are, in fact, promoting body manipulation, whether they say they are or not. Uh, so far, though, they have not tried to sell these. This is only available on the Internet. This is the Bitty Bug. It's a knit prosthesis for children, although they say it's not for infant or toddlers. Um, prob probably because Target's corporate buyer doesn't know about this yet. But I'm sure next year they'll have a whole rainbow assortment. Of Bitty Bugs. Soft. What the hell is that? It's for when you're... Small child has gender dysphoria, but feels bad because they don't have a penis. You can put a knit one inside their underwear. And I'm sure that's totally safe. I wonder how you wash that. Probably you don't. Um, and you are then, you know, these things exist. That's not at Target. You've got to think that's just a matter of time. Thank you so much for watching this segment here at Redacted. We are live every day at 4 p.m. Eastern time trying to share the stories that the mainstream media will not cover. You should also come over and join our community of Redacted Rebels over at redacted.inc. That's our private locals community where we can share exclusive content that we simply cannot share here on YouTube. Come over and join the rebellion together right now by going to redacted.inc. We'll see you next time.